Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install or uninstall beta apps in the Creative Cloud. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do for today's video is have Creative Cloud open and of course be logged into your account. From this point, what we're going to be doing is clicking on the app sections here. And we're going to be looking on the categories here on the left. And at the very bottom of the category section, we will see the beta apps. If we select this open, we can see here a list of all currently available beta apps. And if you have any currently installed, they will be separated here in an installed beta app section where you can see the currently installed beta apps. Now, if you'd like to install any beta apps, what we need to do is come down to the beta app section. Here we can either click install or you can click on the three dots menu here on the left we can click other versions and we can choose to install the latest beta version or you can click to choose to install older beta versions for example if we click install this beta app will now start to install in premiere pro now depending on the computer you're using your internet and the app this can take a couple seconds to a couple minutes to install depends on the size of the app so you may have to be a little bit patient while this is installing now while this is installing i can also show you how to open currently installed beta apps so as you can see i currently have media encoder beta right here to open this up what we can simply do is click open right here and the app will start to open up. Now you will be able to open both the original app and the beta app at the same time. So you can see down here in my taskbar, these actually show up as two different apps. So you may have to experiment here, for example, with the media encoder to get the files across. You may need to play around with it a little bit to make sure it goes to the right version of the app and not the other version. So my character animator has just been installed. Now I've shown you how to open the apps. Now I'm going to be showing you how to uninstall the apps. So for example, let's use the character animator again. If you would like to uninstall this, what we can do is come to the install section right here click on the three dots on the right click uninstall you can choose to keep your preferences if you want here as well in today's video i'm just going to be removing them and just like that we'll start to uninstall our app again this can take a couple seconds depending on your pc and the speed of your drive and then your beta app will be fully removed and you can see just like that we have installed opened and uninstalled beta apps in adobe now just keep in mind you will always need to come to this beta app section if i come back to my all apps right here the beta apps do not show up in this section so even though i have both the beta and the normal version of media encoder installed in the all app section here, only the actual version of Media Encoder will show up, not the beta version. However, if there is an update, updates will show up here in the update section. As you can see, I have the Media Encoder right here. So both the normal Media Encoder and the beta Media Encoder will show up in this section. So depending on what you're trying to do, it may be a little bit different. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to install, open and uninstall beta apps in the Creative Cloud. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.